And so that's what then Trump comes along and he imposes tariffs on China. That was maybe two years ago. Most people were saying, hey, this is no big deal. Economics says that the parties are going to resolve it. We, my, meaning my law firm and me, were writing on our blog, China Law Blog, now this is the beginning of the end. We first came out and said that in October 2018, and we said it because we were of the view that if this is just an economic fight, then all China needs to do is buy more soybeans and it will end. But it was clearly more than that. We saw it as a political fight. We saw it as a military fight. We saw it as a market entry fight, not a dollar fight, but a market entry fight, meaning the U.S. was saying, if you don't treat us even remotely like we treat you in terms of right. allowing our companies into China, things are going to change. Right. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more with you, Dan, that that was that was when the tide turned. And there was a reciprocity. There was a feeling of reciprocity that the WTO, we had given a lot to allow China out of the cold. Um, and there uh, had been a lot of wealth gained in China. Um, and there had been a lot of headway. And we were very proud to, to, to be a part of that. Um, but reciprocity, um, you know, and you started seeing signs. Um, and I don't know where the Germans lie, but... Uh, there was a lot of signs with the 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 three D, you know the uh, the three G, and uh, you know going into four G to see there was a lot of problems with the China government, um, you know taking technology, let's say, um, and there was already you know between Cisco uh, more than a decade ago with Huawei there were already signs of IP theft, and this was already starting to litter the tech the, the conversation. So as you let them out of the cold, and we're allowing them. Not only are they stealing technology, but there's kind of a um, there's a close off of markets, and we're not well, making progress in a lot of those areas of financial opening, which is starting to come today. Um, but a lot of those those developments haven't happened. What is your take on that? Well, China came out with Made in China 2025, right? Which essentially, I mean, to grossly summarize, it well, it said. Everything that really matters, we need to dominate and crush everybody else. And when other countries said, wait a second, this isn't right. This isn't how trade is supposed to operate. China's response internally was not, we shouldn't be thinking like this. It was, who were the idiots who allowed the West to see all this? Right. And what was so interesting about that was China had become so arrogant that they believed nobody would notice or be able to understand what was going on. And so what they did was they said, well, no more made in China 2025. Well, that's ridiculous. It's I, I always speak, I talk all the time about protecting your IP. And I always read something that came out from China's national scientific group, very government uh, connected, very government based. And they basically said, we are not good at innovating. We need to steal. And people were mad about that. And they said, that's not how it's supposed to be. So they said, okay, consider that, that we didn't say it. Well, the problem is you can remove what's been said but that doesn't mean the emotion, the feelings, the beliefs, the policies behind that have changed one bit. And they right. have, they've just moved back a little bit, waiting until the time will be exactly right again. 